right so basically i've wanted to start a youtube channel for quite a while now and i haven't um basically due to not gonna lie depression anxiety and worrying about things but i think it's got to a point where i feel like i need to and it's not so much for me um Basically, the whole point of this channel is to raise awareness for small animals and things like hamsters and rabbits and the animals that aren't considered, well, they're considered pets, but like, I mean, considered like the main pets, um, because basically you see whenever any, anyone asks you, they normally ask you, are you a cat person or are you a dog person? And my response is always I'm a rabbit person and I love my rabbit more than anything it's a year right now to the day of her adoption and I've had a rabbit in the past and I didn't look after it the best I'm not gonna lie it was in a hutch and it had great like floor space it had garden but it was in a hutch most of the time and since getting my little baby girl bloom I've learned that rabbits need a lot more and they're a lot harder to deal with as pets like they take time but once you get that time invested like they are so worth it and my baby girl has meant the world to me she makes a mess she poops sometimes um because basically backstory um i got my bloom because i wanted a rabbit and Basically, I found her on an adoption site and I fell in love with her. So I went to go and see her and then I started panicking. I was like, again, something not very nice. But I could see that she was a bit albino. And I was always against albino pets. Not because, like, there's nothing wrong with them. But I was almost scared of being scared by them, should I say. I didn't know how I'd feel. And... On the way there, I started panicking. I was like, what if I don't like her? What if she's, like, scary? What if I don't like her? And the moment I held her in my arms, and I fell in love with her, and she was the most incredible thing in my world. And I knew I had to take her home. And that was the moment that I decided that I realised that I was selfish and I realised that I knew that every animal deserved to be loved and every animal, regardless of their eye colour, regardless of their fur colour, deserved to be loved. Like, and my baby girl, she is albino, she has special needs. We went to, get a go go we went to go and get her a spade. We couldn't because we found out that she has a lot of special needs. She couldn't deal with the anesthesia. And it broke my heart. It broke my heart because it went from having an animal that could last 12 years to an animal that could last four years. And she may live longer, I'm not going to lie, but it breaks my heart every day because I cannot stress how important it is to get, if you've got a rabbit or if you've got another animal, like spayed or neutered like obviously it's different for like rodents like hamsters and rats and everything it depends on the situation the circumstance just if you keep them separately obviously you know they can't breed and they can't you know everything like that but basically with rabbits if you don't get them spayed um within like four years is normally the point where they especially females develop uh uterine cancer and I am petrified of that because it's been a year and I am so in love with her like she is my world and she has helped me and she has saved me so much and I love her so much like she's just she's just flopped right here and you can see her little um albino eye right there um but she is she is absolutely beautiful and she helped me so much at a time when I needed her the most and I really want to start this channel to kind of raise awareness to my biggest goal is to like with pet shops there are certain things in pet shops that they sell that are not good for animals like there are sawdust based products 
in Petstone, for example, I don't know if you're in the UK or not, but in the UK we have um, Petstone, we have sawdust-based products, which are very bad for hamsters because if they inhale them and they eat too much of it, it can cause respiratory problems. And um, she's chewing now. Um, but with, there's so many different things that we are told they're okay and they're not. Like there are seed-based products all over the world that are told are okay for rabbits, but technically rabbits shouldn't have seeds because they're not good. Because basically it can cause, cause GI stasis and GI stasis is a very bad um, problem, obviously, from what you can tell, from what I'm saying. Because basically what happens is a rabbit should eat hay, a rabbit should eat greens, a rabbit should eat like a limited amount of pellets. But if they don't, it basically can cause a like block in their stomach and they can't quite process it probably the same as humans can. Um, and it can normally cause them to slow down and then their gut doesn't get going. So it can lead to all kinds of problems and it can cause them to pass away without you even understanding why they've passed away. Um, which is why also if you ever plan to get your rabbit spayed or neutered it's very important if your vet tells you to fast them and not feed them before question that because it could be the person on the um, reception desk that's telling you that but question them on that because if the vet is saying that find another vet and i know sometimes it's hard especially like in america because i know there's a lot of states where it's really hard to find an exotic vet but i'm just telling you the, make sure do not fast your rabbit because it doesn't matter they can't throw up so that's basically why they tell you to fast uh, an animal before surgery but rabbits can't throw up so they need to keep their tract going and they need to keep it going conscious like throughout so that they don't end up in GI stasis or end up passing away suddenly um but basically I forgot what I was talking about at that point because I got too <laughs> into the rabbit situation. But this, yeah, this channel is based on what I've come to understand with rabbits and small animals. And I want to help spread awareness for these things. And yes, I'm not professional. Yes, I'm just on the phone. Um... But I want to be able to do that because I've been part of so many groups that have been like, oh yeah, but my ra my rabbit seems fine or my hamster seems fine. And that's great, like, you know. But that's the thing about those small animals. You can't ask them. You don't know. And you just have to give them as much space and as much time and you have to get to know them and understand all those little things. So, basically, this channel is going to be about those things, and it's going to be about talking about all the little individual moments about um, small pets and small animals. And this little girl is the reason why I want to do that because she, because she was special needs, nobody wanted her, and she was the last one left and I can't imagine her not being with us and I can't imagine her not living the life that she's living. She's free roam completely 100% of the time. She can go wherever she wants. She can do whatever she wants. If she poos on the carpet, she poos on the carpet. I put it in the litter box. If she pees on the carpet, I wipe it up, put it in the litter box so she knows. And unfortunately, because we can't get a spade, that will probably continue. But you know what? The mess that she makes, including the hay, means nothing compared to the love that she gives me and the love that I feel for her. So, let's see if we can get her. Moo! 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 Come on. There she is. I taught her tricks. She can beg. She can spin. She can come to me. And she's the most precious little girl in the world. So I just want to, like I said, I want to do this channel because I want to show people that rabbits are not meat. 
They're not fair. They're not something you can neglect and put in a hutch. They're something you should love and accept as part of the family. The same as you the same the way way you would as a cat and a dog. But this is my baby girl. Hopefully you see a lot more of her. <laughs> and welcome to my channel and I hope I can help in some way.